Hello everybody, it's Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Hope you're all having a fantastic ride today on our crazy train. Starting with the great conductor Cy Frost that starts up the great train's engine. Hope you watch the joyous joy of pouring. If not, you can always go back and watch it later. Alrighty, so today, um, last week as you know, I did a request for our lovely George Ann that follows our groups and always there to support us. Well, I must say she <laughs> did her um, mother-in-law's Christmas present, showed me the photos and she did an absolutely amazing job. It was stunning. So I'm really glad we could help George Ann. So this week I seen another request come up and it was from Tina Wheaton. And she's had a friend on her back about using the colours orange and blue together. So I thought, hey, why not? Let's see what we can do for you. So what I'm going to start with today is a delicious cup of blue and blue and blue. Yep. And what we're going to do, we're going to start with a ring pour here first <coughs> with all our blues. So I've actually got two different cups here today, one with some oranges and I've actually add some um, yellow as well because um, yellow always looks so beautiful with orange and I just thought to give it some highlights for what we're going to do but this delicious cup here is just all blues. Got some beautiful hammerhead, taffy, southern ocean blue, Got the lovely blue eyes. Can't do a blue without blue eyes. Or taffy for that fact. Both amazing colours by this little piggy. So what I'm doing here, just creating some gorgeous rings by the look of this. And then what we're going to do, once we get all this colour out, we're actually going to spin this one right out. We're going to use this as our background. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. Now we'll just move it around a bit. Have a little bit of patience. Go really slow, take your time, just like the great Brit from Brit Clayton's Design always says. I'm slowly learning patience, girl. Thanks for the tip. Because it is really hard to have patience sometimes. You just want to go that little bit quicker. But really, why be in a hurry? When we're experimenting, we've got all the time in the world. So I think I've got that moved. It's just to spread them rings out. I don't know if you can see those. So what we're going to do now for you, Tina, we're going to pop some bubbles. Always a good idea because we don't want them to wreck our day. And we're just going to slowly spin that out. Just get it to start moving for us. Must admit I'm actually enjoying these different challenges, different colours. And how good is it if someone's asked you for an idea? Sometimes it's always good just to get a another opinion. Because we all do things so differently. So you can put one idea together and mix it with your own. And you've got what you're looking for. So now I'm going to speed this up because I really want to get that moving over the side for the next bit. Some really pretty rings coming on there. So I think we'll pop that up. All right. Let's 
So, I'll just get rid of some of this from around the base because I've had Venom, aka Wombat, laugh at me a few times when I've pulled off a beauty and then hit my hand in the paint around the side as I'm spinning and absolutely destroy it. So, we've lived and learned. We don't do that anymore. Alright. Now what I think I might do, I was going to do one big bloom in the middle. But I think I'm going to do something I've been experimenting with. I'm going to do... A little one here. I think we'll do another one here. I think we'll bring another one up here. I might get some of this light in this one here too because that lemon sorbet is just delightful. <coughs> Alright. I'll get a little bit more of that lemon sorbet in this one. So you can see we've got our blues and we've got our oranges. A little bit of lemon sorbet for some highlights. And because I just think it's an awesome colour. Got to sprinkle that whenever we get the chance. Alright, so I think what we'll do first is we'll start on these outer ones. Now you'll have to excuse me just for a moment because I'm way too short for this spinner, but I'll be back. I'll leave that one down, number one. Add some cell activator to our next one. One day I'll grow taller guys and then I might be able to use a spinner and actually show you what I'm doing. All right, number two. And the last one, the fabulous middle piece. All right, once again, won't be a moment. All right. So now we have our three ring paw blooms on top of our big bloom. I think what I'll do now is grab a trusty handy dandy skewer. And let's just manipulate some of these. But I definitely enjoyed this colour combo. Hopefully it gives you some idea of just how well they do work together, Tina. Because I think they look amazing together. I'll just manipulate this one a bit. down here let's 
So far so good guys, I hope you're enjoying it. Always a bit nerve wracking when you think, yeah I can do that. Haven't had a practice run. But, so far so good. I always think this is the fun part, right? Just getting the skewer in there and just seeing how you can manipulate that paint. All right. So, this is our blue ring paw, three mini orange ring paws, and three blooms. Let's take it for a ride. Just take it a bit slow. You might pop out some air bubbles. For a moment, because I'm way too short for this spinner, but I'll be back. Oh, they're moving beautifully. I think we might just leave that there now. Alright, so. This one was for you this week, Tina Wheaton. I hope it gives you an idea of just what you can do with orange and blue. I'll pop that down for you to have a look. I hope you enjoy that one. It was just something I've been... had one of those wacky dreams where you think, oh yeah, I've got to try that. A bloom, triple bloom. Experimenting. Living outside the box really is a beautiful place to play. Guys, then I might be able to use All right, guys, so I might just let I'm my handy-dandy cameraman come round and zoom that one in for you so you can have a good look at it. Just pop a few of those. I don't want them to dry in there. All right. I'll hand it over to the cameraman to zoom in for me. So I hope that gave you a little bit of an idea, Tina, this week. I hope you enjoyed. All right, so up next after me, we have the amazing Tony, the hippie right, dippy painter again, man. Grab your moment. Hope you've all enjoyed the train today, guys, and we thank you so much for joining us every week. It just wouldn't be the same without you. That's all for you guys. So that's it for me. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.